Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a list video that was requested by a subscriber. I don't remember which subscriber, but if you see this, you know who you are. Uh, what I'm going to do, it was actually more of a give me like my top five, top ten Sammy Andrews fragrances. Well, I'm doing a top ten summer Sammy Andrews fragrance list. So instead of like the usual weekend single bottle review, this weekend I'm going to do a... 10 Sammy Andrus Summer Banger Summer Fragrance List. Welcome to the Fragrance Wardrobe. Alright guys, so these are in no particular order or anything like that. Just, I have a whole bunch of Sammy Andrus stuff. Don't have everything, but I have a lot. And these are the 10 that, in my collection, that I'm really drawn to for the summer. Uh, there's still probably a good couple months left of hot weather so you can see something on here you can order it and still get some pretty good use out of before the weather starts turning all right number one we're going to go with the obvious pick the obvious because i think everybody who's a sammy anders fan has this one uh, it's going to be blue sapphire right here blue sapphire smells just Phenomenal. Uh, this one, I'll go ahead and read the notes, I guess, off the back of the bottle. You have bergamot, you have lemon, artemisia, black currant, uh, cedar, pink pepper, lavender, and leather. This gets compared to Elysium, minus some of like the greener notes that Elysium has. It's a very nice aromatic citrus that lasts on your skin for quite a while. This one, uh, I get every bit of eight plus hours on skin, which for an aromatic citrus isn't that common. It's kind of rare. So this one, very mass appealing aromatic citrus that lasts on your skin. Perfect for the high heat. Next up, this one is a, for me, it's like a vacation type of scent. It's a beach type of scent or maybe even a barbecue by the pool type of scent. Uh, it's Caribbean Island right here it gets compared to uh creed's virgin island water although this one i do believe might be a little boozier than creed virgin island water uh, you're going to get coconut you're going to get white rum in here and the combination of the two is just really really good uh, this one is like a tropical island vacation in a bottle it's so good. Uh, I do like coconut. If you don't like coconut, not going to be your thing. Uh, but if you do like coconut, kind of like a booziness to it, kind of like a pina colada, this fragrance would be right up your alley. Such a good fragrance. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people who have worn this. And for the most part, everybody I've talked to really enjoys this one. So great bang for your buck. Also, it lasts forever. Like, first time I wore it, I got something like 24 hours performance, so it stays on skin for quite a while. Next up, going to be a newer release. I recently got this one, oh, maybe a month, maybe two ago. And when I first smelled it, kind of blew my mind. Really enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so much so, I wore it immediately. I reviewed it, all that good stuff. Have a full review of this one. It is Green Space right here. So I have Blue Space. Now I have green space, and I'm really good start to that space line, in my opinion. Really enjoying it. This one, green and fresh. I get like a mintiness, uh, very, very, very fresh. I think it get. I think this might be inspired by. Um, I want to say Nishane Annie, if I'm not mistaken, but you do get a really nice green touch of mint like a little bit of a sweet mint in here uh, kind of a little bit of a licorice feel as well but not so much so that it turns this thing into a cool weather scent it's very very fresh just smells great yeah oh man yeah i like this one a lot uh, also uses uh basil and yuzu in here so you are getting probably some of that greenery from the basil as well so Really, really great scent. Love uh, what he did with this. Definitely looking forward to checking out his newer green uh, bottle releases because I'm a big green fan. So, all right, this one just reviewed it not long ago. So, check out the Sammy Andrews playlist. It is, I'll have it linked maybe at the end of the 
uh, video. You can click on that. There's something like 30-ish videos of only Sammy Andrews fragrances. So enjoy that. Uh, you can check out this review on that playlist. It's White Sapphire. Recently reviewed this one. This one smells pretty dang good too. So a lot of people, when they first got their nose on this or saw the note breakdown, they were thinking maybe Aventus Cologne, something like that. I do believe this one is inspired by Hasevat. Um, I do believe this one is inspired by Nishane Hasevat. Uh, it's it's pretty bomb. But even Hasevat is kind of inspired by Aventus. Personally, um, I think this smells better than Aventus. <laughs> And but Hasevat does too. So uh, you do have your pineapple, you have your bergamot, you have um, some grapefruit in here, patchouli, oak moss. I think there's some cedar in here. The you're going to get the pineapple, you're going to get the grapefruit, and you're going to get that nice mossy undertones to the fragrance, which I think smells really good. Uh, I, I don't think there's apple in here, which I'm kind of glad because sometimes those apple notes kind of come across a little spoiled to me. And I think that's the case uh, with my Aventus that I have. I think it, like the apple comes across spoiled and I just don't really like it. But this smells phenomenal. It has the perfect blend of the fruits. It has that mossy undertones and uh, it just smells really good. Very mass appealing and it lasts all day like pretty much everything i don't even think i have to say what the performance is going to be like on any of these because it's sammy anders they're going to last all day next up this one is total fire uh it is shine sun from sammy anders and it is so good this one gets compared to bulgari tiger uh you have your so your notes of this one, you'll have bergamot, grapefruit, uh, Sicilian orange, ambroxan, and woodsy notes. I think Bulgari Tiger is a three note breakdown, but this one does get compared to that. It's like citrus with a little bit of woods in there. Just a touch. You get the ambroxan, it smells amazing. You know what? I don't know if this is my favorite from the house. Uh, these aren't ranked by the way, but it's pretty up there. It's so fresh. It's so clean. It's so citrusy It's not like basic or anything like that. It just smells phenomenal That with this one you can wear it all summer all spring I think you can really wear it all year, but it really shines in the summertime so Great great offer if you haven't tried this one up. You really need to and I did see where Sammy uh, started doing the uh, individual samples on his website. I think they're like five bucks. You can order a sample of that before you buy it. I think he also is doing discovery kits. So you can like, I don't know, pay 30, 40 bucks, get a whole bunch of samples, try a bunch of stuff out before you buy it if you want. Next up, I reviewed, I think last week, uh, this one, very recent to the collection. Uh, it was sent to me not too long ago. And it's Forte de Aqua right here. This gets compared to, I think it was MFK's Petite Matin, I think. I think that's what it was compared to. I haven't smelled that one, but I have smelled this. So I can tell you what it smells like. Citrus. So you're getting a phenomenal Italian lemon in here. Uh, you get a little bit of an aquatic feel, not a whole lot. That's more of an undertone, I think. But from opening to close, you have such a beautiful Italian lemon. And if, you, if you're not really familiar with the difference between just like a basic lemon or an Italian lemon, there is an incredible difference. The Italian lemon is going to have a little bit more of a tartness to it. It just, it just smells a little bit more natural. And that's what you get in here, a little bit of a tartness. It, it smells good great i wouldn't wear this in the in the winter or the fall this is strictly summertime i think uh, but it is so refreshing it it's an incredibly refreshing scent and you can dress it up dress it down it lasts all day all right next up i got this one last year it is 
great summertime cheapy they're all pretty cheap right they're all there's 30 dollars but this one really really good it's summer peach for all of you peach lovers out there mm. you know what with summer peach i don't think my wife cared for this one too much i on the other hand did i do think this is perfectly unisex uh, because you do have peach and you get a clean laundry feel with it so it's like a clean laundry mixing with a really nice peach note and it's just a great summer peach type of scent um i can't remember if my wife liked this one or not i want to say she wasn't a big fan i on the i on the other hand i was a fan i am a fan i haven't worn it enough though but i really like the peach scent she felt that she got too much of that like laundry type of feel from it i thought that there was kind of a pretty good balance between peach and laundry but who knows i mean everybody's different everybody's you know has different um senses or whatever when it comes to scent so uh, summer peach really awesome offering for the summertime if you're looking for something with a peach type of scent and there's not a whole lot of those on the market i don't think i don't think there's like a ton of peach based fragrances but sammy offers one right there for a really great price last all day too all right next up is vitalis Vitalis, I think, is kind of an underrated fragrance from his house. Not a lot of people talk about this one. They talk about, to be honest, most people talk about the Sapphire line, but not enough people talk about Vitalis, and Vitalis is really good. So you have that citrus, you have that lemon, but you're also getting some jasmine in there. Uh, I think you're getting, yeah, I think you're getting some jasmine in there and you're getting vanilla. So think of like lemon, mix it with a little bit of white floral, throw in some creamy vanilla in there to add a little touch of sweetness and creaminess. That's what you get with Vitalis, and it's really, really good. It's a great, clean scent, and with just like that, just enough touch of vanilla and sweetness and creaminess to just really kind of push it over the edge to like great fragrance status. This one smells really good. Uh, more people, I think, should really try this one out if you haven't already. Definitely give it a shot. It's a awesome, awesome summer fragrance. Okay, next up we have In the Sea. In the Sea is not going to be for everybody. Now, when I did my first impressions of it, compared to my full review after actually wearing it, thoughts changed a little bit that's why i try to you know get a full review and a first impression so gotta get a good a a, a nice well-rounded uh, introduction of a fragrance to you guys so in the first impressions i picked up kind of the saltiness the aquatic with some green in there um a little bit of a broxin that type of thing and I didn't really pick up a whole lot of seaweed, but when you spray this on and it starts to dry down, the seaweed really comes up and adds a level of green and saltiness to that aquatic scent. So if you're not a seaweed lover, which a lot of people are not into seaweed, seaweed's kind of one of those notes that is kind of a little bit like you find more in Indian niche type of things. It's a little bit more original, a little bit more creative, a little bit more artistic, and not everybody appreciates it. So if you don't like seaweed, probably not going to like this one very much. But if you do like those type of things, this is a hell of an aquatic. It's a hell of an aquatic, green, seaweed, salty type of fragrance that works really well in the summer. And I think that it will I think it will even work really well in spring and transitioning in from summer to fall as well. Last but not least, this is the first Sammy Andrews fragrance that I ever got. Uh, I won a giveaway from Ross Carlos over at TLTG, and he tossed this one in for me for free so I can try it out. It's the Limoncello d'Italia right here. This smells so good okay again we are with this like whole italian sicilian type of citrus um fragrance i do believe there's bergamot and lemon in this one i think i see bergamot and lemon 
the notes are in white and kind of blend. I can't really read it, but I think there's bergamot. I think there's also lemon, and it's like an Italian citrus. Uh, it's like a Sicilian type of citrus. It's like an aqua de Parma type of citrus. So you get that tartness. You don't get a whole lot of that sweet or anything like that. So you're going to get like tart. You're not really going to get a whole lot of sweet. You're getting a very natural tart uh, Italian type of citrus scent. Now, when you do spray it and it starts to dry down, you get a touch, just the slightest touch of a hint of sweet. Not enough to like really be like noticeable, I think, to everybody else. But what I get is like a very natural, freshly squeezed lemonade type of scent from this. Just an ever so slight touch of sweetness. It kind of gives you like a really supernatural uh, lemonade style of a sweet. Uh, where it's like just a really nice tart glass of natural lemonade that you would think was like squeezed right off the orchard in like Italy or whatever. It smells really great. It smells pretty phenomenal. It's it's a great citrus scent. All right, guys. So those are my 10 Sammy Andrews picks for the summertime. I know summer's coming to a close, but hey, guys, we still have probably a couple more months of hot weather. Uh, we have all of August, which is like the hottest month. We also have most of September. If you're in the South or like in Texas like I am, you have till November, so jump on them. Um, but yeah, those are 10 just awesome summertime scents from Sammy Andrus. Those would be my, my 10. If I were building a Sammy Andrus summer fragrance wardrobe, I'd go with those 10 for my Sammy Andrus summer fragrance wardrobe. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do remember, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. Let me know if you've tried any of these or anything from the house and what you think of it. Uh, and yeah, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys with the next video.